Hi everybody, I'm the SolidWorks Nerd, and today we're going to figure out how to find the volume of a custom shot glass. So without further ado, the part is just right over here, and as you can see, it is trash can shaped. Um, no pun intended, but uh, yeah, we're going to figure out the volume of this. So um, the goal for this is to be a double shot glass, and uh, some, some, of you, some of you may already know, um, a shot is one and a half uh, US fluid ounces. So we're gonna have to go for three when we do our analysis. And the general game plan here is we're gonna simulate the mass of fluid in there and then determine the volume of that. So uh, first we have to create a surface that'll represent the fill line of it. So let's go ahead and do that. And for that, you can just um, start a sketch on the front plane, just like that. And of course, the water level will um, settle down to a uh, horizontal straight line. Or just to simplify our analysis, we'll just have it be that. And we just only need to make sure that it's just longer than our trash can is wide. And we can define. Uh, we can define whatever uh, fill level we want. So we could say, for example, five millimeters from the edge, and we can leave it just like that. So that's all we need for now. And then what we can do with that is we can go ahead and go to your surfaces, and you can also find it over here, surfaces. And we're going to extrude the surface. We want that, and just... Uh, have that go mid plane. So the point is, this uh, inner part over here is going to um, simulate the fill level of our fluid. And you can just drag this arrow out. All it, all it really needs to be is just wider than the entire thing because we're going to trim everything away in the end. So that looks okay to me. So we have that. We're going to hide it away for, for now. So, of course, to make the solid, um, we know that the liquid is going to contact the inside surfaces of our little trash can here. And so, uh, when we make our solid, it's going to be between the surface that I just hit away and the inside surfaces. So now what we need to do is copy these inside surfaces. And of course, um, if you've seen, seen my other video, the way to do that is you go to your surfaces and you go to offset surface and if you put an offset of zero you will get your copy surface and then we zoom into here and you can see there's a lot of little faces it's going to take a very long time for me to select all of those so we'll have something better so if you right click you'll see this option that's called select tangency and that's going to be your key here but it needs a little bit of help because if i do that right now so as you can see um on the edge of our trash can, it is tangent to everything. So it's basic, basically has selected the entire trash can. We don't want that. So we want to use the power of the select tangency option, but we need to tell it some way to stop right there. So um, something we can do is to break the tangency, just, just as simple as that. And what I'm going to use is our delete face tool and I'm going to set this to delete and patch. I'm going to select our fillet on the inside surface, the inside fillet over here. And what's that? what that's going to do is going to delete that and extend these surfaces and I'm going to turn it back into a sharp corner. So uh, we'll hit OK. And you can see it worked. We have our sharp edge right now. And now let's go back to our offset surface um, right click that select tangency and as you can see it's worked perfectly well and selected um, almost a hundred faces so you can see how that saves a lot of time for us but of course we need to still preserve the design intent and we can just go back here to our delete face and just hit our delete key and there you go um, we, we have our fill it back and best of all, we have our inside surfaces selected, just as easy as that. And actually for now, we will not need the actual solid body, so you can just click in the side and hide it away. 
And there's our inside surfaces. And going back to our design tree, we can see our other surfaces hidden. Go and hide that. And you can see how they intersect and they enclose a volume of, uh, of what it will eventually be liquid. So we can go to our trim surface tool so we can trim out the excess. And this is going to be a mutual tr trim because um, we don't have any sketches. It's just the intersection between these two surfaces. You can go to remove selections. Just click the two edges over there and you can see we're almost done. And from here we can go ahead and create our solid and I think that will be very convenient. So create our solid and hit OK. And there you have it. So um, there is our volume of liquid and if you want we can go appearances, uh, body, not, not the entire part, and you can go down to organic liquid and uh, uh, I'm just selecting this one because I like the color really I, I just like the color anyway we have our volume of liquid there and as you can see we can go back to our solid bodies and oops, not that one let's fill it one yeah we can see how how well that fits in there but now we need to measure its volume but you can go ahead and measure its volume. Maybe you'll find that it's, it's, uh, it's too much. And then you'll go back and then you'll have to bring up the measure tool again. That's a little bit annoying. So what I suggest we can do is we can create a sensor. And what a sensor does is that you can give it um, a parameter to keep looking at. And as you change the model, it will go ahead and update those values accordingly. So you can go ahead to evaluate and hit sensor and we have our sensor type is going to be mass pro mass properties as far as our mass goes uh, as, as far as the properties go we want to select our volume and now it's asking for a thing so we're going to give it this thing and it has it in pints but we'll go ahead and change that later to a uh, unit of your preference I'm going to just going to use US fluid ounces because I'm in the states so you can see sensors, it has it in pints, but we can go to custom, edit document units. Oh, look, looks like it already has, looks like it's just being a little bit annoying. Let's see if I change it and then change it back. It'll, so now it shows it in gallons, but that's also not what I want. You can go here, US fluid ounces. And now we have our readout here. So. Um, remember, our goal was three ounces to represent a double shot, and we have um, three and an eighth of an ounce, which is a little more than I'd like. So now we can go over here, and I have this model set up in such a way that um, uh, that I have uh, equations here that represent the, the overall height, uh, the angle of the conic section that it generally. Uh, defines it so if I go all the way back here we have this revolve that I use as a as a base it's hidden right now I'll unhide that so this is basically um, the conic section that I used and of course you could always um, have an estimation of volume by um, calculating the volume of this conic but you know we have solid work so we can get our exact answer but anyway if we go to our sketch we can see how it's defined so I see, as you can see, I have an overall height set to H. We have our uh, overall diameter of the bottom part um, set to D, I believe, and then the angle at which it um, comes comes out over there. So what, what I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna set, instead of 41, I'm gonna manage equations, I'm gonna go uh, equals 40. Oops, two equal signs. We only need one. So hit rebuild and just go all the way down there. And for some reason, hmm, that's strange. We got we got even more volume. Try to rebuild. Oh, and there we go. That was really weird. I, I thought I was saying four ounces, but yeah, I just hit rebuild 
and we have 2.978. I'm gonna call that close enough for me, especially that, you know, a bartender's not gonna measure five millimeters out here. He's just gonna kind of measure it all the way to the top and just hand it to somebody. Uh, but with that, that um, we have a sensor now, and you can go ahead and play around with your custom shot, shot, uh, shot, shot glass design and, and see it, if it suits your needs. And with that, that's all from the SolidWorks nerd. You have a good day.